I'm Rachel from Mabel and Cole and I'm here to show you one of our classic recipes, our 15 minute marmalade using the best citrus of the season. So the first thing you do is zest your citrus. You can use lemons, oranges, clementines, limes, whatever you fancy. We're going for some blood oranges. Now you can zest using one of these or another way of getting your zest if you don't have a lovely zester is veg peeler. Ribbons. Zest off. You only want two tablespoons for this recipe. Now you want to just scrape a little bit of the white away. And then stack it up and finally chop it. Okay, so we've got about two tablespoons, a little bit over there. And now all we need to do is get some, some juice from the orange. Oh, look at that. This is going to be a gorgeous colour. You can use a juicer, but if you don't have one, um, I like using just a little butter knife and holding it over a sieve and you just squeeze and then this helps pull some of the juice away. And this catches all the pips. Last bits of juice. So I'm going to measure two tablespoons. Zest. Four tablespoons of juice. Three. And you need four tablespoons of honey. So four of juice, four of honey, and two of the zest. So you get a nice sized jar out of this, um, which is good because sometimes if you make a classic marmalade recipe, you end up sometimes with more jars than you can get through. Okay, so you just put it on the hob on high heat, bring it up to the boil. When it starts fluff getting all frothy and bubbling over, just turn it down a little bit and let it cook down until it thickens and looks a bit jammy and it's as thick as you like. And if it gets too thick, add a little bit more juice. And if it's too thin, cook it longer. So you can tell when it's set, when you can pull a spoon through and it separates a bit. And it'll still be a bit loose, but it'll thicken as it cools. That's looking good. So while it's warm, I'll just put it into the jar. Obviously you use a clean jar, but there's no need to sterilize it unless you want to keep it um, longer than a week or so. But this isn't going to last very long. Just let it cool and set a bit, and then we'll get some toast. Lovely, so it's all set now. It's really lovely consistency, still drippable. We've left this for about half an hour just to thicken up a bit. But if you really can't wait, just slap it straight onto your toast while it's still warm. Go, blood orange marmalade made in 15 minutes. Amazing.